today we're going to be treating one of my horses for a hoof abscess. I thought it was on its road to recovery, but it's just lingered and lingered, and I haven't seen it rupture, so his hooves are hard as rocks. It's been so dry here, so I'm going to show you what I do to uh, pack a foot waiting on an abscess to erupt, and um, try to avoid all that hoof soaking in buckets, because that is just long and tiring, and nobody has time for that. So I'm going to show you what I use. The best thing to do is to use a baby diaper to wrap the foot in, but I don't have any baby diapers, so I've got like goms of this kind of ace bandagey type stuff. So that'll go right on his foot. I've got some Epsom salt gel, and we'll soak this down, or soak his hoof in it, kind of massage it in real good, and then cover it with this, and then I'll cover it with uh, vet wrap, and then I'll make um, kind of a shoe for him with duct tape to... Give him something nice to walk on so he doesn't wear the vet wrap out. Okay, we've just cut strips of duct tape, laid them down, overlapped them a bit, and now we're going to cut more, more strips and lay them kind of in the opposing direction and make a nice pad for him to walk on. All right, so we got our two layers of duct tape. Just overlap each strip just a little bit. You want it big enough for your ho horse's hoof print to fit on with some edges to overlap, and then you can go around the hoof with more duct tape. And you want to leave this bandage in place for two, maybe three days, keeping it just moist enough to keep the hoof moist without being really ultra soggy. And then take your bandaging off, inspect the hoof, make sure you're not developing any more additional problems. And then repeat that until you can get the abscess to rupture or clear up or they become pain free. Tip number two at this, I got dirt in my uh, duct tape. <laughs> Happens, but it's okay. We'll make sure we got enough of that Epsom salt gel on there. Put our wrap on here. And this is where your diaper would come in handy because it's just one stick it on there and done. And if you have a horse like this horse, does not have a whole lot of patience. with his feet. He's certainly not dangerous. He's just wiggly. Kind of being a little stubborn. But I guess we all can. And then vet wrap over the top. And if you were using a diaper or gauze or some kind of wool or you know, whatever you can find, you just want something kind of fabricy to hold moisture. Cover it in some vet wrap. So if he puts his foot down, this gets dirt on it. That's not a big deal. You don't want dirt in your fabric. Around, around, nice cushy pad. Okay, you want this to be pretty thick. walk on it for a few days. Hopefully it'll last a few days. Alright. And my duct tape is falling into the dirt again. This breeze is killing me. Well, I think he's got a good working surface. Alright. And I'm going to give him a break, but we'll just wrap more duct tape around that. If you'll have a little more patience with me, we'll be done. All right, so we just want to make a nice, nice boot with the duct tape. Same way we kind of wrap the vet wrap around there. Some horses don't like the sound of that duct tape. He's actually doing decent. We'll go once kind of around the toe and the heel bulbs, bulbs, hold everything in place. Okay. And that should do him. And we can even put a little bit of water kind of down his ankle 
to the hoof just to make sure everything's good and moist and soften, soften that area up for him. And that's it. All right, that's my little horse tip of the day, and hopefully that'll help someone else out, and we don't have to try to convince horses to keep their hooves in buckets of water anymore, and hopefully rain will be feeling better soon. Mm -hmm.